we're gonna start a new file because I want to go after Spirit this time. Anywho, now that they know so much about you, I'm sure the group wants you to start getting to know them. I'm Trapper. I pretty much run things around here. I'm the smartest, richest, strongest person on this whole island. You're just- but you're just an- You're just an asshole, and not a charming one, and I just... Eh. I don't like losers. If you want to know what a loser is, say hello to Wraith. Out of my face. Look at his cute little smile. Hi, I'm Wraith. I'm nothing like everyone else. I like nice people and loathe big dumb idiots. So, Trapper? Hey, what's up? I'm Spirit. I don't like most things. Hey. Same. I don't really hate most things either. It's not worth my time, but the things I do hate, I really hate, you know? I just... I just don't like most things, and I will just be like, eh, whatever. <laughs> Based on my personal observations, life is nothing but suffering, and society is a carefully calculated lie to keep everyone subservient to those in power. It's better to choose to just not take part. Spirit, I love you. Yeah, I, I absolutely adore you. Jeez, it's like she was downright murdered by society. She hates it so much. Oh, wait. I remembered Spirit's story now. And that's ex almost exactly what happened. Hi, baby. You don't remember me. We were in love. I'm gonna keep saying that every time I see you. I'm Huntress. Don't let these bombers get you down. There's lots of fun to be had on this island, along with lots of love. Grow up. Grow body. I've explained this thousands of times. I'm dead, but I'm not a literal ghost. I just create a trail of fog. I'm not made from it. Whatever, fog body. That's not nice. He's not nice. You love it. Only sometimes. Ew, really? That's disgusting. That's why she likes it. Don't speak for me. I also hate it. Stop speaking entirely, actually? Yeah, can we just shut Trapper up, please? <laughs> For the first time ever, I agree with Wraith. Let's move on, otherwise they'll do this all day. Besides, if I know this crew, and I do, they'll want to show off soon enough. What? I missed something. I actually agree with Mihad. I say we go to my yacht. No. No. Okay. I hate the endless, desperate, soul-cushing pursuit of wealth. It's flaunted needlessly and it's cruelty in- yeah. What about hanging by the pool? I find the water calming. Okay, so he wants pool. Trapper wants yacht. She wants volleyball. We're gonna go to... Uh... I think this is volleyball. No, this is volleyball. This is the water. This is the yacht. So this is gonna be Spirit's choice? It'd be great to relax for a second at the lounge. To kick your feet up, look out over the ocean, and relax on your own terms. Who would want anything else? Dry, comfortable, enjoying a cool drink on a hot day? It's the best. I mean, what kind of fool? What kind of monster, what kind of mask-wearing psychopath would finally be granted a break from the constant grind of chasing and fighting to get ahead and then choose to exert themselves in, quite frankly, any way whatsoever? Why am I the only one who gets it? It's time to stop living by their rules. I won't do it any longer. Girl, same. Girl, same. I like spirit. I, I really like spirit. I think I think we're gonna work out, chat. I think me and her, we're gonna be good together. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get smooches. We're gonna. Oh no. Anyways, yeah, we should probably give her a second to calm down. We're, oh, my babies are back. It's Claudette and Dwight. For just one moment. This is Dwight and Claudette, our activities coordinators. 
have you played as Spirit yet? And if yes, how do you like her? So I haven't played as Spirit as a killer yet. I do want to attempt it at some point. Um, I'm just worried about her teleportation being like uh, nausea inducing. Uh, so I'll have to see. Only one way to find out, right? Let's just try her. Tishi and Spirit 2023. Yep. 2022 is Tishi and Huntress. 2023 is Tishi and Spirit. The two, the, the the undead duo, we didn't know you needed a new life. <laughs> no, that's not gonna happen. I mean, if it's the, the trapper from the actual DVD game, that's fine. I don't like, I don't, I don't like his attitude in this. He's just, he's not even a charming asshole. Like you could be an asshole and still be charming. Not even charming, <laughs> he's just an asshole. They're also the cooks, waiters, bartenders, janitors, and every other job. They're, on they're the only help remaining on this island. Oh no. This place we call Murderer's Island. Cue dramatic mirrors. Uh, cue dramatical musical flourish. Oh god, oh, oh fuck. Well. Yeah, yeah, nope, we're just going. Yeah, this is- they- they supervise- if you haven't seen this, I have played this. They supervise you... ...as much as they can. The least you could do is allow us to do our job. The most you could do is help us get off this aisle- Dwight? Yes, pardon me, please follow us. Hey, narrator? Yes, something I can help you with? Those two, Claudette and Dwight, did they just start to mention something about wanting to escape? Is escape an option? Should I be trying to escape? Escape? Them? Oh, no. No, no, no. I think you're mistaken. It seemed like Dwight was asking for help to get off the island, though? Oh, right, that. Yes, that's true, he was. But he just meant he wants to get off- get to the other vacation island getaway. A couple miles south of here, it has much fancier accommodations than this island. IP Island! <laughs> we all want to see, we all want to go to IP Island. Sneak a peek at IP Island. It's one of those big corporate outfits, quite exclusive, where all the famous celebrities hang out. Very luxurious. Don't quite have the charm that this island has, though. Trust me, you wouldn't want to go there. With all that money comes a lot of restrictions. So people have actually drawn um certain characters and what they would look like uh if they showed off ip island i think they've done like pyramid head um ghost face i don't remember the other ones so it's done a couple <laughs> and i they're really good this is where you belong now now off you go it's time for an activity on the island your decisions matter mostly when i agree with them not like that other island. So what'll it be? I, I, I chose, I, cho I, I chose the lounge. Hey, there she is. There's my gal. Finally, freedom from the preposterous premise that the four of us would be engaged in some, some sort of thrilling two on two volleyball match. Spirit looks at you from beneath her gigantic sun hat. She takes a conspir conspiratorial tone. I don't know whose idea volleyball was in the first place, but I hate them. I tried to feign a frank angle, but everyone already knows that I technically float above the ground, so nobody believed I was even putting any pressure on my joints in the first place. Then, I tried to annoy everyone by not giving a crap, and when that didn't work, I tried whining, and when that didn't work... I threatened to kill every single person on this island. But, turns out I'm not the first to toss around those kind of threats on this island. Ah, da, da, I read that wrong. So, thanks, I guess, for getting it called off. You're so cute! Look at her blushies! Oh my gosh. And she's got the little, oh, I love her little flower. Ma'am, respectfully, you're gorgeous. Me and you. Oh shit. 
Oh no, I didn't mean to skip. I keep forgetting if you hold down, it skips. Uh, is what we'll be saying when you get to the bar to make to drink of your dreams. Ah! Uh, uh, <laughs> hilarious, right? Right, Dwight? Yeah! Right. Right. So, what will you be having? Ooh, okay, we get to choose. Hmm. I could drink all of those. My first one is to either go for the top two. Let's think about this. I mean, daiquiris are really yummy. I didn't come here to party. I'm just trying to make the best of a very strange situation. I don't know. How about a daiquiri? I really actually do like strawberry daiquiris. Those are good. I know how to make that. But skip the liquor. I'll have mine virgin. Pepper or Snickers at your choice of words. Sure you will, kid. Excuse- <sighs> You know, get out of here. Get out of here. Don't mind him. We don't need to soak ourselves in booze just to please someone else's expectations. Right? Fuck you. You ask me, there's enough spirits here already. Oh baby, yes there is. Hello? Besides, alcohol just numbs you to the painful realities of the world. I choose to face them head on. Ooh. They're quite sweet. They can be, yeah. Uh, you'd never do something like, I don't know, hide from it all behind the world's largest hat or anything? Please allow me to ignore any fashion advice from the man wearing a doll's mask. Doll's face as a mask. Is that a doll's face? Really? What kind of doll is that? Okay. Well, yeah. Not a doll's face, Dirk. Since we fulfilled your requests, it's time for you to return the favor. Should have known there was a catch. I swear, had I known they'd pull this kind of faux enthusiastic community building crap, I'd have suggested we attempt to walk to the lowest point of the ocean before I ever set foot near this bar. You don't think it could be kind of fun? A little fun? Never mind, I hate it. This sucks, but it could be fun? Or whatever you say. Has anyone seen my hat? Do you have a hat? Oh, that'd be really fucking cute, seeing Wraith of the Hat. If we must make small talk, I'm picking... I'm at least picking a topic before we end up being forced to do some lame improv game that nerds learn at their non-sports after-school activities that I definitely never did because I'm no nerd. I don't know if I believe that you never did the activities before, but we're gonna- we're gonna push past that. Sitting here on this beautiful sunny afternoon, warm sand beneath the cool fog beneath my severed feet. The topic I choose is books. Ooh, I like books. Novels, comics, fiction, or non. Reading is the only real escape for the inescapable horror of life. The escape into your own mind. A groan rolls through the crowd. Not a lot of readers here, I'd imagine, based on that response. They were much more enthusiastic about drinking. Considering the situation we're in, it seems appropriate time to ask you... Ish, what's your desert island book? The one book you'd bring with you if you were, well, on an island like this. Oh, and it has to be classic horror. For reasons that should be obvious. Oh, yeah. I- Spirit. Me and you. Mm. Together. Kisses. Mm. He means because this is an island of horror villains, and also those books are all in the public domain. <laughs> Nothing too modern. Humanity has really gotten soft these past hundred years. So, what's your favorite? Ooh, okay, okay, we got Dracula, Frankenstein, Dr. Jekyll, and Mr. Hyde. I kind of know you probably know what I'm gonna pick. So, yeah, we're gonna go Dracula. I have to, I, I have to. Dracula is one classic that's still scary. To be seduced by some beautiful stranger, only to learn later on that they're an immortal villain. Gee. Hmm. Don't know what that feels like. It's downright... thrilling. Oh uh, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, I guess, but I was going to say... That despite the deviant behavior of Dracula and the threat of possible danger or even death that he poses, 
You can't help but get turned on by the liberation from the status quo that he represents. So, what if some old doctor says he's a bad boy? You're supposed to reek like garlic and sleep alone? What do they think would buy into that? If you're going to be trapped in the nightmare that is undead life eternal, which I know a little something about, you could do a lot worse than great clothes, a castle, and a lover who doesn't take shit from anyone. Spirit is just speaking to my fucking heart right now. Oh my god. Like, Huntress was an absolute cutie. Spirit is just... Spirit, baby. Me and you. Mwah. Kisses. 